So, I think that was that in the upper level. But... Hello, Mrs. Millet. Yeah, you don't even know. But there's also that other computer down here. And there's also that door that we didn't get through down here. Or was it in the lower level? Because we're in the second floor now. Yeah, it was in the main office. Main floor. Valid facial pattern detected. Thank you. Thank you. I'm also feeling a little bit thirsty. So I would like to get... That. Yeah, this is probably... Yeah, this is a key. So we don't have the passwords for the computers. We can come back later um, and, and read them. And we might, in fact, do that. I uh, just want to go to the bathroom very quickly. I think there's one over here so I can drink a little bit of water. Holy crap! 15 radiation! 15 rads! How may I serve you, mistress? I... You guys really screwed up with all that radioactive things that you put in the water or whatever. Anyway, we're going back here. I'm sure nothing terrible is gonna happen. So that probably connects to the other door. Disengage lock. Well, I guess it's too late now. Oh, because if you come from above, it closes it. What is this? Oh, it's that weapon. Yes, the Q35 Matter Modulator. And because this game doesn't have item descriptions, it's a lot less interesting than, than it is in Fallout 1 and 2 when you find an interesting weapon. But it is, the, we know we know the description though, so it's still pretty interesting. But I would like to know more. Nikola Tesla and you. Oh, this is our trick. This is what we need. Um, we might, it might not be enough, but it is enough for one of the computers. No, no, it isn't. Dang it. I keep, this is for energy weapons, not for, not for science. I need science. Not energy weapons. Because I need to read the computers that are interesting. What about this safe? It's got interesting things, but nothing nothing of what I want. Upturned tables and whatnot. Let's see what we have upstairs. Because this goes places. I mean, I think it does. I'm a little bit... Having a little bit of trouble here. And it does indeed take us to the other level. So I guess that's that. We never found the... Hello, Mrs. Millis. Yes. We never found the passwords. But we don't, didn't need to. They all died. Because of their stupid robots. At least that's... You know, that's all we can fear, right? Eddie didn't say anything either. Which is kind of curious. Anyway, we're out of here. Let's go to New Vegas. And not where I'll, where I'll ha find some better water to drink. Goodbye, all the robots. There are three levels. Look at that. And Repcon written up there. All of them dead. Before the war. Or maybe as the war happened. Anyway, we're going to Vegas. We're following the I, not uh, the I ninety five. We don't know if it's an I, but we're fi following the ninety five. Oh, there's a little road over here. There's a little train track. House over there. Just going to visit. I don't think it is a location, but it could be. No. At least not one that we can find. Train station. With a radio. As often happens. You can't think too hard on the radio, though, because they... Who would have left it on? How is it powered? How can a radio... How, how, how? How does any of this... Uh, but the, the, the truth is that, yes, it does. And the how... Is irrelevant. Let's make our way north. There's a lot of friendlies up ahead. I mean, somewhere up ahead. Way too many for them to be birds. Is it a caravan runner? 
they are uh, having a little bit of rubber bending issues, but I think that's just the game. Hey there, need anything? The game realizing that they, they're stuck on geometry. Sure. Yes, let's see what you have. A lot of money for one, which is good. Um, because I, I have a lot of, of things, but mods. Power Fist Chrome Tubes, I have those already. That's pretty good though. Anyway, there's money. Definitely want that. Bunch of pre-war money. I have 22 pounds of pre-war money. <laughs> you see that down there? It's unbelievable. Where's Eddie? Oh, I think the game might be freaking out. Uh, Eddie, it's not you. I'm sorry. It's Veronica. Ooh, got something good for me? <gasps> is it a uh, dress? It, I, it is. It is not. Um, I need all of this. Ooh. Oh yeah, I got the metal armor. Sorry. You need that for things. Hey there. Need anything? I need your money. There you go. Bye. Hello. We have just found Grub and Gulp rest stop. Welcome to the Grub and Gulp. What is this place? Just a little rest stop that me and my good friend Lupe set up. Last stop on your way into New Vegas, first stop on your way out. That's what I say. Your friend Lupe, can I ask you some questions? Sure, fire away. Is the, there any place to buy weapons and armor? I think there are a few places, but I've heard that the gun runners sell the best. Yeah, I've heard of that as well. Where can I find a doctor around here? Dr. Yusanagi runs a medical clinic up the road. Mm-hmm. I don't have any more questions. All right, then. I'll show me what you have for sale. Sure thing. Anything else I can do for you? Not really. Bye. See you later. I don't know why he said anything else after we just started trading, but... Lupe, is that you? You need water? I got water, clean and fresh, straight from Lake Mead. If you're low on caps, I've also got slightly irradiated wasteland water. A little fallout never killed anybody. Oh, it, 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 it did, it did. Where, where'd you get your water? The NCR fixed up the pipe network pretty good, and water merchants like me are allowed to have some of it to sell. If we have a water license, of course. Still, it beats the inconvenience of having to trek all the way to the lake to resupply. A water license. Are there any uh, many water merchants around here? There's a few independent ones like me, but it's mostly the big trading outfits that deal in water, like the Crimson Caravan Company. Yeah. Can I ask you some questions? Shoot. Uh, yeah, about the trading caravan, but I can't ask about that. Anything I should know about New Vegas? They won't just let anybody into the Strip, but you should be able to have a good time in Freeside itself. Just, um, keep a close eye on your caps. Yeah. Tell me about the fiends. They're a bunch of crazies hopped up on all kind of drugs. Apparently, they're using one of the old vaults as a hideout. The army should really get in there and wipe them all out, but I guess they've got more than enough trouble to deal with right now. The army. I suppose she means the NCR. What do you know about the NCR? Their main base is right over there by the old airport. It's called Camp McCarran now. Some people like to paint them all as a bunch of bullies. Me? I'm glad they're around. They do what they can to keep things safe and orderly. I... yeah, I think she meant the NCR. That's all I want to know for now. All right. Show me what you have for sale. Glad to do it. And she does sell, uh, she sells caps, but also NCR currency or NCR dollars or whatever. That's Arabeth over there in the fiber and some, a lot of purified water, actually. Goodbye. Until next time. For sure. Good of you not to have your radio on, by the way. Very good of you. There's a lot of cows and a lot of advertisements. Or, you know, these things. All the different casinos. Yeah. Okay, we're not finding... that many things up here. Are we at the edge of New Vegas? We are. There's Vault 34 over there. We should give Vault 34... A look -see, shouldn't we, Veronica? I'm sure it'd be a place that she'd love to visit, considering she's from the Brotherhood. Uh, there's some people up ahead. We're gonna say hi. Uh, it's probably merchants. 
on their way into the town, into the strip. Oh yeah, it's merchants. Um, but Vault 34 is where Dr. Mitchell came from. The doctor from the beginning of the game. Hello. Uh, so we're just going up the mountain. Hopefully there's no death claws, because usually when we go into mountains, <laughs> that's the problem. Although the first time we saw them was in the quarry, which was sort of the opposite of of a mountain. There's some enemies up there. Oh, wait a minute. Vault 34 isn't Dr. Mitchell's place. This is a vault that the that non ghoul ghoul in in Repcon. This is where he came from. The one where he was okay with all the radiation poisoning. There's a lot of enemies in. Oh my! Oh, there's geckos. I thought he was a, a death claw. Because you know, everything is a, a death claw. Everything is a death claw in the eyes of. In the eyes of a power armored. Trouble. That, the, yes. What the heck? This is a big one. Man, I'm good at this. Is it because of I have ex extra strength? I think it is. I have extra strength and I'm uh, capable of knocking them out with a single hit. So, yeah. Oh, hi. So, we have a, a military vehicle over here. Oh, radiation. Oh, my God. This is a. This is going to be the theme of the vault, isn't it? Somebody losing their hair. I'll take that. Thank you. Somebody losing their hair because they have radiation poisoning. What's going on over there? Oh, it's not over there. Hi. And we have indeed discovered Vault 34. There's some other enemies, but let's see. Oh. Okay, well... Considering uh, we sort of want to get to Benny soon-ish. And we want to go into the strip. And also the caravan. Uh, the, the Crimson Caravan thing. There's so many things to do in New Vegas. Considering that, maybe I should come back here later. Let's, let's do that instead. And all the poison. You know, radiation. What do we have over here? It's quite a big place. It looks like a water facility. Things popping in and out of existence. What is it? East Pump Station. There's nobody here? I think people are in here. I mean... This is all owned and whatnot. I wonder if this is like a mission, if you want to sabotage them or something. Speaking of which, some sort of data corruption has made the user interface illegible. The damage doesn't seem to go any deeper than that, since the pump station is still online. So, I'm going to need a little bit of science so that we are going to get a little bit of science when we level up next. Uh, and we can come back and do that. Whoever works here is a really big fan of Pignonche, or whatever that is called. Happy Trails Expedition broadcast. It's one of those rare occasions where we tune into the radio. Happy Trails Expedition. That's a merchant by themselves. And some houses back here, all boarded up. That door is not boarded up. People leave here. I mean, potentially. Or Orion Marino's house. Excuse me. I think he's coming at me. No, no, he's not. Excuse me, sir. Ugh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Ooh, do you have something against the NCR? Um, uh, my question should probably be, does the NCR have something against you? But still. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. 
The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I already been living here for years. What do you do around here? Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. Really? So what did you do before you retired? I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Hmm. I wonder if we can tell... I wonder if we can know why he's he doesn't want to talk about the past. He was a soldier. Goodbye, then. <laughs> he's old enough to be... Maybe Enclave? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Just walking sideways, you know, as you do. To be cool and all that. Trying to think of the name of the pilot, the, uh, the Enclave pilot that uh, we found in uh, Novak. Trying to think if she has a Spanish name like Moreno. Maybe that would be a tale. But I don't know. There's nothing here. There's nothing in his house that tells me anything. I guess he's retired. Oh, we're actually really close to the entrance. And that's the tower. I don't know what it's called. It's like the Space Needle, but... It isn't? It's... I don't know. It looks like a Space Needle from Seattle. Oh, man. Some bombs? Yeah, there were some bombs out here. Maybe. Uh, maybe after the war. I don't know. The Gun Runners. That's what is up. What is higher on the vertical direction? Excuse me? I don't handle buying and selling for the Gun Runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. So you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things. Raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners? Makers of the finest high-grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Hmm, any chance I could get a tour of the gun runner factory? I've been getting a lot of tours recently. No, absolutely not. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Who's in charge of the gun runners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gun runners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. It's kind of interesting that, interesting that he says that. He doesn't. He knows what he's doing. That's not what having... I mean, it is sort of who's being in charge, but somebody pays him his paycheck. Unless he's sort of franchising it up. Like, oh, it's the gun runners, but we just, you know, we, we pocket the money as we see fit. And if everybody gets along with that, that's fine. But then, then he wouldn't have anybody in charge. But anyway, want to play ahead of Caravan? <laughs> I am going to roll over you. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're not, dude. This game is not balanced enough for you to even stand a chance. No need to worry about anything. Oh, look at all that. That's fantastic hands. So, Boneyard 10, Dayglow 10. Just keep up with the Joneses. Uh, we're going to go with uh, Neo Reno 10 as well against Redding on 9 and a 6 on Shady Sands. I think he's following my strategy. I'm going to go with a 6 on Shady uh, on uh, on the... Hub, or whatever. Is that hub? Yes, that is hub. So, Boneyard has been doubled. Sounds like a plan. Let's uh, go for Dayglow for an 8. Yeah, he plays well. And he's taking... You jerk, mother... <laughs> what a piece of crap. Uh, let's get an 8 over here. And a 6 after. Let's double the 8 over here. Uh, 
Let's take his king away. It's better than taking my own eight away, I think, at this moment. I uh, need to be very careful about what happens. So a nine over here is going to get me a 13, uh, 23. Um, that's too dangerous. So I need a double the six for a 20, and then I need to add another six for a 26. Sorry, I'm bumping the microphone. Uh, I'm thinking over here. He's doing the calculations, and I'm going to take that eight away. And I think I'll be able to double it without much issue. Uh, and then I can add a six over there if I have a six of this. I don't know what that's called. Uh, I can put a queen in. I think I might have a queen. Uh, or I might be able to just double the six again. I think that's probably the best course of action. Let's double the 20 over here. He's thinking. Okay, this might win me the game. Yes, that's a two against three. Because as long, as long as you have two against one, it's two against three, two against one. If you have two against one, it's fine. But all of the rows need to be at least between um, 21 and 26. And the rightmost one was between 21 and 26, but not for me, for the enemy. So it, it is very confusing to win, like, abruptly. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. Sorry, I took all of your money. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Maybe. What is this place? This is the new Vegas branch of the Gunrunners, supplying the wasteland with only the finest armaments since 2155. That's some impressive weaponry. Where did you get it from? Where did it all come from? All Gunrunner merchandise is constructed on site. How, how did you get inside there? This kiosk was specially constructed around me to deter theft and assault. Okay, show me what you have for sale. I am ready to process our transaction. 2,000 money. That's not that much. But the most important thing is uh, Gehenna. Besides the unique weapons, is there. Oh, yeah, there's. Oh, Fat Man. Uh. I didn't realize this game had this weapon. I guess I should have known. But I don't think it has... I don't think it has it spread out across the world. I think you need to get it. This weapon is a ridiculous weapon, born out of Bethesda's misunderstanding of what Fallout is. But it is a very powerful weapon that does 667 damage. Uh, it is nerfed a lot from uh, how it works in, in Fallout 3, but it is still... Yeah, so we got Power Fist and all that sort of stuff, but I don't really need that. What I need... Oh, also, potentially, armor. Metal armor, reinforced, and metal helmet reinforced as well. Oh, it looks cool! It looks much cooler than mine. Mine is bad. Uh, but also, combat helmet reinforced Mark II. I might want that. Recorn armor. Yeah, these are good. This is good stuff. I think we might be able to get it elsewhere. We're not really going to buy it right now. Uh, what I'm looking for is for Power Fist. I don't think I have that. Power Fist High Cap Valves. I... And also Ripper. Yeah, mm, some good things. So, excuse me. Come back and see us again soon. I will, potentially. Uh, let me look at my Power Fist. So, I have chromed tubes... And, um, ported chambers. Welcome, sir or madam. Uh, sale? I am. Yes, you are. Uh, so, let's hope that this works. Because otherwise I'm wasting money. And, and I'm just reloading. That is a lot of money that I'm paying for that. Come back and see us again soon. Very, very, very soon. So. <gasps> it works. It increases the damage by eight. Which is absurd. That is absurd. Eight points of damage is like 20% extra damage. Maybe more. I did not realize there were these many mods for the Power Fist. Welcome, sir or madam. Actually, wait a minute. Destroying this robot. Um... You're making me carry the heavy stuff, aren't you? Mm-hmm. 
I mean, I'm taking all the heavy stuff out of you because I'm selling all of it. So, she's carrying that. Good. Okay. Welcome, sir or madam. And now... I... I... I can get all that money back. Pleasure doing business with you. Come back. No. I mean, I am coming back, just not... I'm leaving now. Companion dismissal terminal. Wait, what? This is... Dismiss all companions. Oh. That's kind of an interesting thing. I don't know what that's for exactly. Excuse me. I'm just saying hi. One of these days I'll get in there. So, how do we get into town? It's through there. Um, do I have Cassidy's mission? Yes. It's not here. It's a little bit further up north. It might, it might be the same. I think this is the entrance to the city. Speaking of which, Freeside's East Gate. Uh, there's something else there that we can't see at the moment. It is a bridge. And somebody... The Crimson Caravan. That's the same logo uh, as the one in Fallout 1. Because that's where the Crimson Caravan is in. The Crimson Caravan Company. Hi. Hello. Mormon Caravan from New Canaan came through the other day. A Mormon Caravan from New Canaan. That's the DLC stuff, I think. Maybe... Maybe... McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Veronica is learning about the world. Um... Maybe it isn't uh, a line added by the DLC, but the, maybe the game already had that, and the DLC just built on it. Well, this is sort of like a wrench. We got somebody over there taking care of some tools and whatnot. I can take their Brock flowers. It's their barracks. Oh, hi. Damn Brahmin crap everywhere. The impression that maybe ramen crap should be a good thing to have because of the fertilization, maybe. Unless, of course, they are using other things. Hey, don't bother me, please. I don't bother you, please. Ooh. They have good water and good drugs. I don't need the drugs. I'll just go ahead and drink a little bit of water. It's very important to get water where you can. Mr. Handy Busts, I think. Abraxo, or Trusts, that, that's what that is. Trusts Abraxo. Oh man, product placement, all right. Um, excuse me. Look, McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. McLafferty, huh? Sounds good to me. Uh, look forward to meeting her then. Oh, we're on the backside. The sun is falling. Let's have a chat with the lady over here. Excuse me. Hi. Oh, she's probably a caravan here. Yeah, she is. She was just going about. Oh, look at the... So these are loaded already. This is making noises. I don't like it when it makes noises. What's that back here? It's just a thing. Some of these houses are boarded up. I'm not really sure why. Hello. Hello. Oh, you have a radio over here. The leader of the kings who would only identify himself as the king voiced his displeasure calling in the CR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. He added he didn't want to see the NCR in the ghetto and call for a mass, quote, return to center. Mojave? Mo. Problems. Am I right? More music. Just. I think I might have heard that before. Hey, excuse me. Damn Brahmin crap everywhere. Yeah, I've heard of that. If you're looking to buy or sell, you come to the right man. The Crimson Caravan Company has the widest selection in the wasteland. 